Welcome back to another Iron Faith Wrestling Instructional. Today we're gonna to be going over the low single. Like always, I've got my secret manual. Click the link in the bio or description. Put your name, your email in, and we'll send that right to you so you guys can follow right along. First thing we're starting out with is the fundamentals of a low single. What key details we wanna focus on while we're attacking this low single. So the first thing I wanna do is I am not shooting down at the ankle. So a lot of people, they shoot down, we call it shooting like an airplane landing. We don't wanna do that. So when I'm shooting down at this low single, I don't want to fall down into it like that. What I wanna do is I want to lower my level first, so squat, and then drop right to it. So the, the motion is squat, then fall to my knee, okay? And as I fall to this low single, my right hand is gonna be reaching for that ankle. So I'm not, uh, not only am I bringing my body to the ankle, I'm bringing my hand to the ankle and pulling myself in. So I'm here in my stance, I squat. As I fall down, my hand is reaching for the ankle and I'm pulling myself into this position. Now, what's the perfect position? My head wants to be right on the side of the knee or a little bit above. My hand wants to be cupped around the ankle with my uh, hand planted on the mat. My forearm is gonna be alongside the shoe and I'm gonna be wrapping my hand all the way around the shoe just like that. Now, I'm gonna be on my right shin and my left leg is gonna be up. My knee is not pointed up to the ceiling. It's pointed at a 45 degree angle into the direction I'm gonna be pushing. My head again is at the knee or above the knee. And my left hand is planted just like this. So I'm here, I'm going to squat. I'm gonna to drop to my knee. I'm not blasting through his knee or through his shin. I'm going right to it. So I'm stopping right when my head hits the side of the knee. So I'm here, I'm dropping to my knee, pulling myself into this position just like this. Another very important thing is I wanna get an angle on this shot. So what that means is I don't wanna attack the shot straight on. If possible, I want to get to the side of him and attack the inside of the knee. This will make the finish a lot easier. So before I shoot, I may fake to the back leg or circle so I can attack it from the side. So I might step to the side and squat. Then when I drop down, my hand reaches for the shoe, I end up here. This position is a much better position than being straight on. So an angle here, it's a much better position. Hands posted. The reason why my hand is posted is because the main finish you do is tackling a double leg. And if you grab both hands on the, on the shoe, the person can step around this way and it's hard to collect that second leg. So I want my left hand posted and ready to collect the second leg. I'm here. I'm going to circle to the side and squat. So come to the side, squat. I'm dropping to my knee as my hand goes behind the heel and I'm posting just like this. Head is up, I like it at the knee or above the knee. Not too high above the knee, just kind of right here or a little bit above. And I'll talk a little bit later about finishes on how I might shift my head up from that position. All right, now the number one finish from here is just driving my head into the side of his knee with my leg and my head and knocking him over to his hip. As he falls, my left hand collects the second leg and I circle to get my takedown. Good stance. Another thing that's important is I'm always attacking the forward leg. So as you can see, my opponent has his left leg forward, so I'm attacking that leg. And it's the same leg that I have forward. So if he had his left leg forward, if I wanted to attack a low single on that leg, I would switch my legs to match legs. Then I'm going to circle to the side, squat. I'm gonna drop to my knee as I reach out for his heel and pull myself in. Opposite hand post. Trail leg is up 
and I'm pushing into that knee sideways as I collect the second leg. Show you guys a couple different angles. We'll go back to that leg. I'm here. I circle, squat, I drop to this knee. Same knee as the hand that's reaching to. Right to here. I'm pushing into the side of the knee as I collect the second leg, circle, get my two points. Now, another thing that you'll see is when I'm pushing, I said my knee is not faced up. I'm gonna be pushing off the inside of my foot here. So if you look at this foot, I'm pushing off the inside, I'm really driving in that direction there. Another thing I wanna point out, face this direction here. I'd said this before, but I want you guys to be able to see. Look at my right arm. Forearm is around the foot, and I'm wrapping my hand around the heel. I wanna really control this leg because as I go to finish, if he goes to kick away from me, I wanna make sure I can secure that leg. So if I'm here and I go to finish here, he may you know, turn and kick, and I've gotta be able to control that ankle so he doesn't slip out. So you wanna have a good wrap on it. The last fundamental I wanna point out is my chest is over my knee. So here's what I mean by that. When I shoot this low single, okay, my chest, is over my knee. I don't want my knee back like this. We call this getting extended, and it's much easier to defend this. I want my chest, my knee underneath my chest, this is a much stronger position. It's similar with any shot. When I shoot on my opponent, I want my knee underneath my chest, underneath my hips, everything to be in a straight line. All right, but with a low single, I'm just a little lower. My butt's kind of back on my heel a little bit. I'm just like this. All right, now we're gonna move on to setups so you guys can figure out a couple different ways to get to that low single if you like to hit the shot. Most of my low single setups are getting his feet to change lead legs. Most people I wrestle are righties, and if I'm a righty, I have to get that leg to step forward in order to attack my low single. So a lot of my setups, you're gonna see me either you know, faking out this back or this forward leg to get him to step back, or pulling him in a certain way so that that foot steps forward, okay? First thing we're gonna do is an elbow pass, so my partner has a collar tie on me. I'm gonna take my left hand, grab right above his elbow, and put my thumb into the crook of his elbow. I'm gonna pull myself in, so his elbow is bent here, and I'm in tight. Now my opposite hand thumb blocks, so we'll circle this way so you can see. Opposite hand thumb blocks, because I'm gonna start pushing into him. And I always like pushing into people with a thumb block, because I feel more secure that they're not gonna attack when I push in. So control right above the elbow, opposite hand thumb blocks, and I start pushing off my back foot, okay? When I feel the pressure back, I'm gonna shuffle towards the elbow and pass the arm off my head. So I'm gonna shuffle towards the leg, my head's gonna turn into him a little bit, and I'm gonna push his hand off the top of my head just like that. As I do that, I'm making him think I'm gonna do a high crotch, so I will step and reach a little bit, and then I'm gonna drop right to this low single. Knee goes down, hand goes behind the heel, right to this post position where I drive, and I circle and finish the takedown. Show you guys that a couple times. My partner goes collar tie, I control the elbow, thumb goes into the crook of the elbow, and I pressure in. When I feel that pressure back, I'm gonna pass it off, fake high crotch, drop right into my low single right here, drive, 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 collect the second leg, elevate and finish my takedown. Show you a couple more angles. Partner collar ties, control, thumb block and pressure in, he pushes back, pass it off, drop in, collect the second leg. One more time, partner collar ties, control the elbow, pressure in, pass it off, drop right in, and collect. Next setup I'm gonna do is from the open. I call it a misdirection low single. All I'm gonna do is make my opponent think I'm attacking this leg, and I'm gonna attack the opposite leg. This can be done by faking a high crotch. So if I'm here, I'll step in and fake a high crotch. Then my left foot is gonna step over there so I can change the direction of my shot. So right here is not a great shot to hit a low single, because I want to be attacking the low single from this side. So after I fake here, I step around and actually change back in that direction. 
It might have looked a little weird because it doesn't, that wasn't the exact flow of it, but it would be something like this. So I'm here wrestling, uh, put your right leg forward, and I might go like this. So it's a little quicker like that. Show you guys a couple different angles of that. So I'm here, I fake high crotch, I'm kind of stepping and dropping in right there. Collecting the second leg. One more time with this one. Um, yeah, we'll go here. I'm faking that high crotch, so I step and reach. Step that way, pivot in, drive, and finish the takedown. Next setup I'm gonna do, I saw Kyle Snyder show these two setups. I personally never done them in a match, but I really like the setup, so I wanted to add them in. My partner has a lefty collar tie on me. Okay, I'm gonna do an over tie. So my right hand's gonna go over and grab his ear. If he doesn't have, uh, if it's folk style and they have headgear, you're just putting your hand on the headgear. Then you're gonna pull his head to his bicep. Whenever I have an over tie, I wanna pull the head to the bicep because it pinches his head in place and makes it difficult for him to attack his shots. Because this position is a very vulnerable position for me because I'm leaving my lead leg free to be attacked. So it's important that when I over tie, I grab his head and pinch it to his um, arm. Now I'm gonna do a snap down from here, okay? As I snap down, my chin is gonna go to my chest so his hand slides off the top of my head. And then as I snap down, what's gonna happen is most people are gonna circle to their left, away from, towards the side that they're getting snapped to. So I dip my uh, chin to my chest, I snap, and I'm attacking this low single right over here. Circle a little less next time. Less, yeah. Yep, so go ahead and collar tie. So I reach over tie, grab the ear, pull it to the, his arm, my chin goes to my chest, I'm gonna circle and snap it off of my head, okay? So I'm gonna snap, and then as he pops up, I'm dropping right in and finishing the takedown. So a lot of times they're gonna get that circle motion, that left leg's gonna step forward a little bit, and I'll be able to hit this low single. Partner ties, I'm gonna over tie, pull his head to his bicep, I'm gonna tuck my chin to my chest, snap it off, and be prepared to hit this low single. So kind of as I snap it off, I'm lowering myself right into that low single. Show you guys a couple more, a couple more times with this. Goes collar tie, over tie, pull the head to the arm. I'm dipping my chin down, snapping it off, and dropping right in. The next setup is very similar. Um, I'm going to use his collar tie to get him to step, but I'm going to do a little bit differently. So my partner collar ties me with the same left hand. Again, this is from uh, Kyle Snyder. So he takes his opposite hand, so his left hand, and grabs at the crook of the elbow, similar to how you'd pull a Russian tie here. All I'm going to do is pull on this arm, circle backwards a little bit, and squat down. So I'm here, I'm just going to do this and try to get that leg to step. Again, low single, what are we trying to do? Get this leg forwards. So again, I might fake the high crotch, or I might do a motion like we're doing right now to get that foot to step forwards. So he collar ties, opposite hand goes into the crook of the elbow, I'm gonna pull down and squat down to my low single position. So I'm changing levels and then dropping right in. Obviously he's too close right now, it's a little awkward, but some people won't step that hard, so when I come here, I'll give ground and pull a little bit and drop right in, okay? Again, he collar ties, opposite hand, grabs on the crook of the elbow, I'm squatting down and circling back, and then dropping right in, okay? Pushing, 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 collecting the opposite leg, getting my two points. And the way Kyle Snyder explained is that he used to do it with the same hand. So he used to go right hand, he would pull and then drop in. But similar to how you do a knee pull single, it's too slow. Your right hand is up here, so when you pull you have to drop it from here down to here. But if your left hand is pulling, 
your right hand can be ready to attack right when he steps. So the right hand's already kind of reaching in while the left hand can be up on that arm pulling. Show you guys one more time. Uh, we'll do a different angle here. So my partner collar ties, opposite hand goes to the crook of the elbow. I circle backwards, I shuffle backwards and pull. And then drop right in, push, 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 collect the second leg and finish that takedown. This next setup I saw from Kerry Colat. I don't like, I don't really do arm drags, but if you do an arm drag, this is a perfect opportunity for you to set up this low single. And as you're doing other setups too, again, get creative. How can we get his opposite leg to step forwards? So when I arm drag, so he posts with his lead hand, okay? If I drag this arm and kind of circle a little bit, he's gonna shuffle left and, and step that left leg forward a little bit. So as I drag here, that's gonna happen right there. Let's look at that again. So we're here, he might post. I go to drag and circle and that foot steps forward, which is exactly what I want to hit my low single. Just going over a drag real quick, my left hand is gonna come inside similar like I'm getting an inside tie, and I'm gonna pull the arm across, all right, and my opposite hand's gonna grab as high up in the tricep as I can. So I'm here, I reach through like I'm getting an inside tie, I, my pinky wraps around and grabs the arm, and, my, and I pull the arm to my opposite arm. So this hand pulls to here, I reach up high in that tricep, and I'm pulling, I, you can set a lot of shot up, you can set a lot of shots up, Right now we're doing that low single. So I'm pulling and then releasing and dropping to that low single. Show you guys a couple times with that shot. My opponent posts, I'm gonna reach in, drag, pull, drop right in, circle to that low single, just like that. Again, we're here. I can do, I don't have to do that windshield wipe to drag too. I could just grab wrist control, so we could be like this. And then I could pull, drop right in there, and finish. Now, the next setup we're gonna do is a bear crawl. I know it's kind of weird, but I've been having fun with this, doing this in practice to my athletes, so I wanted to show it. It's just like the misdirection where we fake the high crotch, but I'm literally gonna bear crawl. And it's, a bear crawl is a very explosive, position because you have your like your hands and your legs and you can move kind of quickly very low as well so here's what I mean I'll go I'll be wrestling here I'll come down to a four-point stance and I'll crawl like this like I'm trying to tap the inside of his heel so I go like this and then it exposes that so it's very explosive I'm kind of like chasing down these ankles but I'm gonna chase the lead leg, he's gonna step that back, and then I'm gonna jump towards that low single on the other leg. So I'm here, I'm gonna come here and jump right in. And it's definitely very unique, but it's fun. I think it works. I've seen, first time I ever saw it was in a clip, I don't know the Russian gentleman's name, but a, a high level Russian wrestler, wrestler um, did this attack, okay? So I'm here in my stance, I kind of get low and do a four point stance and I crawl towards here. Immediately when that leg steps back, I change directions and get right to my low single position. Driving in, collecting, going there. Show you guys this one one more time. So I'm here, all right. Drive, 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 and collect that second leg. Now the last thing I'll leave you with is you can really do any setup you guys use for high crotches can also work for low singles. It's all goes, it would all file under misdirection. So here's what I mean. I'll give you guys two quick examples. A common setup for a high crotch is a post, post high crotch. If my partner steps his leg back when I go post high crotch, you go right to that low single. Another common setup is if he has a collar tie, I fight inside to my own collar tie, open up and go high crotch. Same thing if he steps back, I go low single. So you can use your high crotch setups paired with low singles 
perfectly. So if you have any other setups you do for high crotches, I mean like I have a video on high crotches, so you can look through those setups as well, kind of pair these two shots together. But I'll give you guys one more, you know, similar to that post. If I have a Russian tie, he's posting on my head. Uh, actually, I'll do the op uh, keep your right leg forward. So it's like this, ready? We're wrestling here. I post and go high crotch, and he's gonna step back. Boom. I mean, you can get creative. You're just finding ways to get that foot to step forward, whether you fake and they step that foot back, or you pull to get that leg to step forward. Now we're gonna move on to low single finishes. The first low single finish we're gonna do is doubling off. We've done it a lot already, but I'll point out a couple more details for you guys. So, I'm in my stance, I circle, squat, drop to this position. When I drive him over to his hip, my left hand is gonna be collecting at the knee. So as I drive him, my left hand is knocking his knee, and I'm getting in this position. Now, when you're in this position here, he'll have a whizzer on me, so I've gotta be careful um, to climb up too quickly or in the wrong way. If I let go of his right foot and climb up, he can whizzer and get out of the position. So, come on this side. So when I hit this low single, right, I fake here, drop here, and I get to this position, Actually, we'll turn this way. Again, if I let go of this right foot too, too early and I start climbing up, he can, get, he can get out of this takedown, okay? So what I might do here is I might, you know, post my left hand and elevate and drive up to his back. That's one option. You know, if you're in freestyle, most people go to leg laces. Another option I can have is just circling towards his backside here, staying low, maybe attacking this hand that's posted here and finishing like that. But those are some options you wanna do as you're finishing. Elevate that leg. Just don't let go of that right leg and try to jump on top of the person prematurely, all right? I'll do that one more time. So I'm here. I cut the, I, I, I get an angle so I can hit this low single. Boom, boom, bang, right in. I'm driving, knocking the knee, circling, elevating, and getting the takedown there. Now, I have a video out on low single defense. If you like low singles, you should watch that low single defense video because it's going to show you what opponents are going to try to do to you. One thing an opponent is going to try to do to you is step over. So if somebody shoots a low single on me, here's a couple options they're going to be doing. All right, and we're going to go through each one. One they might do is step to a crotch lock position. Okay. Another thing they might do is pivot and wrestle from this position here. They could also just sprawl. They could go try to scramble as well, come out the back door. So uh, let go real quick. So the first position we'll deal with is I hit this low single, and he's going to try to step over. It's, very, it's the same as the double. I'm just catching him. So when I'm here in a low single, if I feel him trying to step over, I'm going to shift my head higher up on his leg and just catch high on that double and finish. So here's what I mean. If I'm here on this low single, OK? He uh, just step over to here. This is what he might be trying to do. So go back. So if I feel that happening, my left hand will catch his leg, and my head will actually shift higher up on his leg. So go ahead and try to step. I'll go here and drive through and finish. So it's kind of a unique situation, but I don't want my head come up real quick. When he's stepping over, so my head is here. It's right at the knee. Step this foot back. My head's here. He wants my head here, and he wants to step over this way, okay? And he has a lot of defenses from there. So as this is happening, I'm taking my head out backwards and up, kind of where his hand is, and then I'll tack this second leg to make sure he can't step over. So I'm here. If he goes to step over, I'll shift up and attack here. Let's circle uh, the other side, too. Watch my head in this last one, okay? So I'm here. As he goes to step over, my head shifts up. So my head's no longer in the knee. It's a little higher makes it harder for him to maneuver from that position. Now, next position. If he does get to that crotch lock position, I normally force him out the back door. So I'm here. If he steps, drop to your left knee over here, and he gets here. I want to come out the back door, and there's really two finishes from out the back door. If he crotch locks, I'm coming up. First thing I want to do is come up. Now, when I'm here, my body's in a straight line, my head is up. I normally attack this opposite foot. 
So I let go of that one and I focus on this one. Now, if I'm here, all I have to do is just kind of continue to sit back and get my right foot free. Once my right foot is free, I keep pressuring back. I want to put him in a position where he's uncomfortable. I want him to feel like he's getting defensively pinned so it can free me up, free his lock up a little bit. But once I'm here, my right leg is stepping over. And then if his foot is where it is right now, I'm just going to keep rotating in this way. If it was higher up for some reason, like here, I can push it and come through this way. So either you're going through the legs or you're pushing the leg off your head and ro rotating in this way. Now you're right here for a Turk to get your back points. So that one again, uh, I guess, come right here, Ben. So I go low single, he, he beats me, steps to this position. I post, I bring my body up. Now I forget about this leg and focus on the bottom leg. Okay, and I'm pulling the bottom leg across me. Now once I'm here, I'm posting so I don't get knocked over. Because one of the things they want me to do is they want to take, put that hand in my armpit, yep, and they want to kick me back this way. Okay. So I want to make sure my left hand is able to post so I can, you know, not fall this way. All right, once I'm here, I'm, I, I'm shifting my right leg ever so slightly. So I'm shifting towards my left so I can free this leg. But I don't want to shift so much that I fall. So just a slight shift, free my leg, now I'm here. Now I'm pushing, I'm circling and trying to step it. As I step, look at my left leg never comes up. It stays on its knee, I'm on, its, on my shin here. I'm pivoting in and scoring, okay? Um, do the same thing, but like grab my ankles, I guess. Yeah, I, I grabbed your ankles the first time, but I, I kind of like didn't think you wanted me to do that. So. Yeah, either one's fine. So like okay. what will happen is people are going to give you different types of defenses. They may lock in your crotch. They may go for your ankle. So I'll come back over here. I think it's the best angle. So come here, lean over. They can give you different looks. Crotch locks is a lot very common. Um, but literally, I'm trying to come up and focus on this bottom leg. I don't need this leg anymore. Focus on this one. Keep sitting back into them too. Sit back. Don't let yourself get pivoted like this. Stay in a straight line. Sit back into him. Look to free your one foot. So see how he has my foot a little bit here? I'm, I'm working this. I'm keeping my knee over top of my foot. If my knee goes to the side, he can get a better pull on it. So I'm keeping my knee straight up towards the ceiling, working that foot out keeping the leg secure so he can't kick away, and just slowly looking to pivot in. See, even he has this foot here. Look at this. He has that foot there. I'm sitting back on it. I'm being careful. I might even peel for a second and get that takedown. Now, if his hands are posted, I can actually circle through and finish backside. So if he steps over the top and I come here, I can also um, essentially sit through so I can sit through to my butt and circle towards the single. So I circle towards the single, hug it, and now I'm in a backside finish position. For backside finish, we climb up the leg like a rope. We go above the knee and above the knee, and we tackle through the hips. So I'll show you guys that one one more time, just a little variation for out the back door. So I'm here. I'm coming out the back door. I might sit through to my hips here and then focus on hugging this single. He may kick as I do this, so I'm securing it really tight, posting, coming up, climbing up the leg, reaching across, keeping my shoulder tight so he doesn't wizard me. Another finish we're going to deal with, my opponent might try to stuff my head. So if I go low single here, uh, turn towards the wall that way and stuff my head to the mat, like the, all that funky stuff where you kind of jam the head like this. All right, go ahead. So I might get stuck in this position here. When I'm here, my goal is to go climb above his knee. So I'm gonna get, try to get my shoulder tight here, and I'm trying to climb above his knee. So shoulder gets in tight, climb above his knee. Once I climb above his knee, I'm gonna keep pressuring in really hard. Ideally, if I can get his opposite knee down, that's gonna relieve a lot of pressure, so I'll keep driving. All right, shelf this leg up, and finish, backside finish. As I'm dealing with that situation, my partner you know, or my opponent has a couple different options. They may try to reach back and do like a rubber knee, or they may try to reach across and do what I call an eggnog. So when I'm down in this position, face the other way. So show, the, show that the first one. So you may try to come back this way. 
Now go the other way. So let go real quick. If I step this way, reach, he may try and go this way, okay? So what I have to do is as I feel him turning a certain direction, I want to stay directly behind him. So if he's reaching for this, like I'm going to circle. If he goes the other way, I'm going to circle back in front. So I want to make sure I'm directly behind him as I'm working to climb above the knee and finish. So there's a battle of staying behind my opponent as I climb above the knee and finish backside. Another position that's very common when somebody hits a low single on me is we talked about I want to have an angle on my opponent. So when I shoot this low single, I want to attack it from the side here because it, it makes it an easier finish. If for some reason I attack it straight on, what they'll, uh, the first defense people learn from a low single is putting the knee into the back of your head. So they'll pivot and they'll get to this position here. If I'm here, I can no longer do my traditional finish. So instead what I do is I switch hands. So my left hand grabs the heel and I circle behind and post my right hand. So we're here, I switch hands and post my right hand behind. And I circle, 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 and I finish a backside finish, okay? I may stand up to my feet as well, but the point is, is you've shot this low single and you've lost the angle. You're no longer hitting the inside of his knee. You're more straight on here. All right, they might even pivot a little bit. I switch hands, I post, and I can come up to my feet, no big deal, and I can finish from my feet here and cover. So that's, that's a very common position you need to know how to finish. The, probably that's the two most common low single finishes, either doubling off, like we did in the very beginning, or backside posting and coming up. Um, we did talk a little bit about kicking away. If I feel my par partner kick away, just hold on tight. Hold on tight. After he kicks away, then build your positioning and finish the shot. I'll show you guys that one real quick once. So say like, you know, he, we're here and he goes to kick away. I'm going to hug it. Hug it. I don't want to be on my hip for very long, but once he stopped kicking, I'll rebalance back to this position where I can climb up and finish. But you should feel a kick coming and secure that ankle. Grab it with two hands, hug it tight, um, be ready to deal with that situation. So we'll do that one more time. Uh, circle this way a little more. So I'm here. I try to finish this way. I control. I feel it. I'll post, come back up, climb up, and finish. Okay. Another position that will happen with a low single is they'll step over and try to scramble. Um, you can go out the back door, but you can also back up and go double. So Ben, shoot a low single on me. So we talked about stepping over like this, right? Well, they may also be in this position and back step over, get to get to the same position. If I feel that happening, so I'm here behind them, and I feel them stepping back this way, I'm going to show you what I like to do, okay? So if, I, if I'm on this angle here, and I feel them backstepping, as they do it, I'll, see how my butt's off my heel? As he goes to backstep, I'll sink my butt back so that I'm ready to attack a nice double here. So as I feel him stepping over to, to try and scramble and look for my ankles, I'll be here. I'll sit my butt back so I can scooch back and hit that double leg. Show you guys that one again. So say I've shot this single, trying this type of finish, and I feel him stepping over, I back up. I try to back up even more if I can to get right to this position where I can hit an easy double and finish the takedown. If he hugs my stomach as I do it, so this time backstep, but stay on. So say he backsteps, but leans over top, then we're right in that out the back door position where we come up, we stop focusing on the top leg, we focus on the bottom leg, we're posting so we don't fall, sitting back into him, you know, bracing ourselves as we need to, and just putting pressure on him, breaking his grips, looking to get the takedown just like that. Last thing we're going to deal with is the split position. With the split position, we're just going to try our best to finish on our feet. So if my person's facing me directly, say I shot a low single, and they step this foot back and go to your knee, and we're wrestling here. And if, depending on how, let me switch this way a little bit, depending on how flexible they are, they might actually be in a full split. But either way, they're in this position here, and it's hard for me to reach that second leg. So stay on your knee, though, because it would be more like, it would be more like a straight on split, like this, like go single on me. So this is kind of the position, like this is what people are going to do. They're going to be here attacking your grips. I used to be able to do a split. I can't anymore, but 
That's kind of the feel. Almost like sit back, like okay, kind of like that. Meant, I thought you meant like a full split. I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't, don't worry about trying to really full split it. So we're here, right? Now, what I want to do is secure this leg because what as they're sitting there, they're going to be trying to peel my hands, so attack my hands, and try to peel off. Okay, that's what they're going to be working on. So as I'm here, I'm no longer trying to reach across and finish here. I'm trying to pick the leg up. So secure the leg tight, post your backhand, and try your best to lift. We want to get it up in the air so we can finish on our feet. Okay, so if you're in that split position, I'll show you guys one more time. We're trying to get height. We're trying to pick this leg up. So we're here, we're, we can't collect that second leg. Secure it tight with our left hand in this case. The hand that's behind will post and we start lifting. Control, lift, make sure they don't funk roll, limp arm out, control, and finish. There'll always be more battles as you're doing these finishes. You'll have to be good in all those positions if you like the low single so that you're ready to finish no matter what your opponent does. And that's all I got for the low single. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.